they hugged me and they loved me for who I was because, you know, I am a convicted felon. Um, I've been living my life with a felony conviction that I cannot erase from my record. Um, but they accepted me for who I am. Um, my mom was a single mother with four children and having to figure out how I was going to put food on the table because I'm the second oldest of four. And uh, so me and my older brother had to figure out ways to support my little brother and my little sister because my mom was having to um, work and go to school at the same time, which made it very, very hard. Um, my life went into a tailspin to where I ended up actively using different substances that uh, caused me to almost take my life. Fortunately, I learned over the years that Heavenly Father had better intentions for me because I didn't know what to do from one day to the next. I kept on running from the law. I kept on using to the point where I ended up in a treatment center. Heavenly Father got into my life when I was sitting in, in, in treatment and my mom was having to come and see me behind me be, being behind bars and not being able to leave. It really, it really touched me to know that I needed to do something differently. It took me no time to say that was it, I was done. And on August the 16th of 2001 was the last day that I started my new life. And my new life involved not using drugs and I've been clean and sober ever since. Um, I met my wife because she would bring, bring uh, her kids and herself into the restaurant that I was working at here in town. And, um, and I just asked her, I said, I'm looking for a church home. And uh, um, she says, well, I, I go to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints at the top of the hill. And the first time I ever walked into the church, I pretty much was just surrounded by elders. Um, the, you know, the Melchizedek priesthood, I, I had all the, the priesthood holders that, that were in the uh, church and they hugged me and they loved me for who I was because, you know, I am a convicted felon. Um, I've been living my life with a felony conviction that I cannot erase from my record. Um, but they accepted me for who I am. And uh, the sad thing about it is, is the church that's just right down the, down the hill from, from our church, they wouldn't even, that was the first church I started going to, and that's the church that my mom went to. They didn't accept me because I was a convicted felon. They said, oh, you can't join the church because you're a, you're a convicted felon. And I was like, wait a minute. I thought Heavenly Father forgave everybody, you know, but nor here or there. But that's what, you know, I just, um, I, had, I had those members that just hugged me and loved me for who I was. And that's, and that's what drew me in so quickly um, because at the drop of a hat, if you needed help, they were there to help you. Uh, um, and I'm like, well, what do I have to do to, um, to start learning the lessons? Because when I didn't know, at that time I didn't know about Joseph Smith. I didn't know about um, the teachings of the Book of Mormon and First and Second Nephi and didn't know any of that. And uh, eventually I learned, um, I learned from the sister missionaries. They taught me at Cotty College and learned that the Book of Mormon is another testament to our lives, and uh, and I know that it's true. I know that there's a prophet on this earth that uh, helped us, that helps us every day, to help us and guides us through the the hard times and the good times that we have. And I know that as long as we believe in our Heavenly Father, and we believe that life will be better as long as we follow Him, then things will get better for everybody in society, 
and in life.